Do you want to know how to stop procrastinating and finally get started studying for your AP exams? Well, in this video, we're going to talk about how to stop procrastinating and start studying right now for your AP tests or any other big tests you have coming up at the end of the year. And if you watch all the way to the end of this video, I'm going to give you one specific strategy to get started right now and stop procrastinating for studying for your AP exams. Whether or not you've started studying for your AP exams this spring or you're waiting and you still haven't really started, I am here to get you going with more tips for how to get the ball rolling and be even more productive with your studying schedule for APs. Now, if you've waited to the last minute and you only have a day or even a few hours before your AP exam, be sure to check out some of my other resources, including how to cram for a test in one day and my last minute crash review if you're taking AP biology. So let's talk about how to stop procrastinating for something big like AP exams at the end of the year. It is really Really easy to procrastinate, especially if you have done it in the past. Procrastination can easily become a habit, even if there's something that's really important that's ahead of you. Some people can even procrastinate by doing other work and other unpleasant activities just to avoid the one thing they really don't want to do. For example, you may find yourself even cleaning your room or doing chores rather than studying for AP exams if that's the thing that you are putting off. But just because you've been procrastinating studying does not mean you cannot break this habit and it does not mean that you are doomed for your AP test. The first main study tip I wanna give you is to not binge or don't count on binging at the last minute. Sometimes students frame the available time they have left as the total amount of time that they're gonna be studying in the future. So for example, if you waited to the last weekend before the AP exams, you can tell yourself, well, I have 48 hours and I'll spend my last few days studying in a huge big study chunk right before the test. Research has found that that is not the most effective work or study strategy to put it all into one big chunks. In fact, it is more beneficial to you and your brain to give yourself breaks along the way. So start off with small bits of studying sessions. Don't put a lot of pressure on yourself to do a three hour, five hour, 10 hour study marathon cram session on the last day or the weekends leading up to the test. Just because you have the time does not mean that you need to fill it with hours and hours of studying without breaks. It's actually much better for you and for your comfort comprehension if you take a little bit at a time and study a little bit each night leading up to the test. For example, if you plan to give yourself a five hour marathon study session, the same amount of time can be split up over 15 days in short 20 minute study sessions. And those short sessions are going to be more effective for you in remembering the material that you're going to need to know for the test. You may be procrastinating because you have multiple AP tests to study for and you don't know how to prioritize or aren't sure which one should come first. We'll look at the AP exam schedule and figure out which exam comes first in the calendar of tests. Obviously, you want to prioritize the ones that come earlier first, but you also want to prioritize the ones that have the larger amounts of material or the ones that you know you struggle with the most. It's good to alternate subjects as well and go back and forth between topics during your study periods. So for example, if you're taking AP French and AP Calculus, you might want to spend 20 minutes on French one night and then switch over to 20 minutes in Calculus on the same night. Now, how are you actually going to sit down and start doing these things? Rewards-based systems are actually really effective in helping you get motivated and stay motivated for studying or any other unpleasant activity. Streaks are really good too. So what I recommend is getting a calendar and marking off every single day that you are able to devote at least five minutes of studying on. As you continue, mark off each day if you are able to continue that streak. The more you continue to do this, the more unlikely you are to actually break that streak. So start today. Pick whatever day it is on the calendar and give yourself a check if you are able to study for at least five minutes for one of your AP exams. Tomorrow, do the same thing. The next day and the next day, continue this activity and make sure you actually physically mark it down in a calendar or on a sticky note somewhere. That act may be enough reward to actually stimulate your brain to continue the streak all the days leading up to the exam. You can also give yourself other mentally pleasing rewards, including a small snack that you enjoy, being on a social media site or TikTok or YouTube for a certain amount of time after you've studied. By giving yourself these rewards and promising yourself that you will not partake in the reward until after your study period is over is a really good way to motivate you to actually get the job done. The next thing that may cause some students to put off their studying is not knowing where to start. Often having to review for a full year's worth of difficult material can just seem really daunting. And if you open up your material and start with the very first topic from the beginning of the year, you may just get overwhelmed very quickly. What I recommend is finding one topic or activity 
maybe something that you learned in the middle of the year, so not too long ago, but something that's not super fresh in your brain, and review that for five minutes. Maybe find one Quizlet online with vocab associated with that unit or topic. Maybe go ahead and jot down everything you can remember for three minutes for a particular concept or idea. For example, take a blank sheet of paper and write down everything that you can remember about photosynthesis from AP Biology. When the timer is up, review what you've written and then go back to your notes or your textbook and see what you might have missed that is important in that topic. That'll highlight things for you to remember in the future. Whatever it is, do one short thing it doesn't matter what it is within the scope of your course, but as long as you get started with something, the more likely you are to dive into other topics and continue your studying process. You also wanna make sure you're studying strategically, so your brain is more satisfied by reviewing materials that you know well and things that come to you easily. Obviously, that makes you feel confident and makes you feel like you understand this tough material but you're gonna benefit more from studying things that you obviously find more difficult or things that you don't know. High achieving students often overestimate the things that they don't know and underestimate the things that they do know well and devote more time to studying the things that they actually know pretty well and less time to studying the things that they know less well. So you wanna balance whatever you're studying with things that you know and understand well because that is psychologically comforting to be able to study those things, but also with things that are difficult and that you know are going to be challenging and hard for you to study. The brain doesn't like to work and like to try to understand difficult topics when there's other topics available that can be easily reviewed and are more satisfying because you're going to get those answers right. You want to mix up your studying with topics and ideas that you find likable or easy and topics or ideas that you find difficult or that you dislike. By alternating between those two, you're giving yourself the benefit of studying material that are going to help you and your brain is going to be satisfied with your studying process. You also want to remind yourself that when you're about to procrastinate or do something else in lieu of your studying activity, that present you is going to benefit, but future you is not going to benefit from that procrastination. It is really hard to put the needs of our future selves above the needs of our immediate selves. Do your best to prioritize future you and not immediate you. You can maybe bribe immediate you by saying, okay, I'm going to sit down and make a nice cup of tea and play this favorite song while I study. So we're doing something fun and something we enjoy while we're doing that difficult thing that we don't want to do. But the more that you're able to prioritize that future version of yourself and ignore the wants of your present self, the better you will be set up for success on your AP exams. Another trick that I have to beat procrastination when you're studying for your APs is to trick yourself into doing work. And you can do this by combining some sort of study method with another activity that you would either rather be doing or an activity that you enjoy. For example, forming a study group with friends and sitting down and hanging out with those friends while you're studying and reviewing flashcards could be a good way to combine those activities. You could also put on a podcast or listen to a video as you go on a walk or complete some other task that you wanted to do, like a chore, for example. By tricking yourself into doing a different activity along with your studying, you may be more likely to do more studying in the long run. Lastly, you may want to separate yourself from other distractions in order to not procrastinate. Sometimes having the constant notifications and alerts that we're exposed to can cause us to put off our studying in lieu of other things that seem more appealing. What I would recommend is isolating yourself and using only one device at a time while you are studying. So for example, if you're reviewing YouTube videos on your phone, put your computer away and turn off the TV. If you're studying with your computer, make sure you put your phone in another room or another place where you can't reach it and hear those notifications. Take off your watch. Make sure you have separated yourself from everything except for the study material. Only use one window at a time and try to hide any other distracting materials that might pop up on your phone, including message notifications. If you are really distracted by the technology that's around you and you keep using it to procrastinate, I would recommend using some paper, physical copies of flashcards, and you using actual hard copy materials while you study, then you are less likely to get distracted and procrastinate with other technologies that are out there. My last bit of advice for today is to pick one thing to get started with and hold yourself to it. So if you watch this long to the end of the video, that's what we're going to do today. This is going to be the last video that you'll watch on YouTube for now, unless video watching is part of your study process. But what I'm going to do is set a timer for one minute and you're going to pick one thing that you can do to study right now. It doesn't have to be something long. It could literally be just taking out your study guide and putting stars by topics that you want to review soon. It could be making a list of vocab words that you feel like you want to study or taking out any review materials that your teacher might have given you. If you're taking multiple AP exams, you could make a study schedule or get out a calendar and start marking off the days for which study activities you're going to do on which days.
If you made it this long to the end of the video and you've decided on that one thing you're gonna do, go ahead and tell me in the comments below what you've decided. I hope this video has been helpful and I hope you get started right away in studying for your AP exams. Thanks so much for watching. Give this video a like if it's gonna help you study and I'll see you later.